Hi, my name's B, and this is a three minute review of Wild Scottish Love by Trisha O'Malley. The print version of Wild Scottish Love was published in July of 2023, but the audiobook version comes out on August 29th, 2023. This is book two in the Enchanted Highlands series. You might like this book if you like romanticy. Yes, that's romance and fantasy together. An audiobook that has a gorgeous Scottish accent. Audiobooks with two narrators, one for the hero and one for the heroine. A cinnamon roll hero, the grumpy sunshine trope, and magical beasts. Leah is a down on on her luck chef in Boston, Massachusetts until Scotland comes to call. More specifically, a castle in the Scottish Highlands comes to call. They want her to be the head of their kitchen that's going to be in a restaurant in this castle. However, she might be needed for something more than just her cooking skills. The premise is already fun, but add in some magic and an insanely attractive Scottish Highlander named Monroe, and this book is near perfection. Monroe is a cinnamon roll hero. The grumpy to Leah's sunshine in this grumpy sunshine romance. I loved listening to this audiobook and I very much enjoyed Monroe's Scottish brogue, though it was difficult at times to understand for this American anyway. This cozy romanticy had it all. Steam, mystery, humor, and of course, magical and mythical creatures. Some were cute, some were a little bit scary, but not that scary. Now I came into book two, never having read Trisha O'Malley before in my life. I still really enjoyed it. I found it easy to follow, despite the fact that I hadn't read book one, Wild Scottish Night. However, I'm going to fix that. I definitely want to read the first book in the series. I felt that this book built nicely upon the world that seems to have been started in the first book, Wild Scottish Night, and prepares us for the third book in the series, Wild Scottish Rose, which is being released on July 19th, 2024. Not all of the loose ends were tied up in a bow, but that's not to say that the book didn't have a satisfying ending on its own. We just know that there's more to come. I went ahead and gave this book four stars. The pace of the story was great. It was highly entertaining. The characters could have been fleshed out a bit more, but I was thoroughly charmed by each of them. I'd tell you more, but I think it's more fun to go in knowing as little as possible. I'd like to thank Dreamscape Select and NetGalley for the e-arc of this audio audiobook. All opinions expressed are my own. That's it for me. I hope you're doing well and I hope you're enjoying whatever to see you're reading, whether it's romanticy or not. Until next time, thanks so much. Take care. Bye!